SMT Nation, we back. In today's video, I want to discuss a topic uh, kind of positioned here by Monica Alvin, FierceWireless.com. I'll go ahead and put the link for the description or the link in the description for this article, as I think it's a very interesting angle. Verizon has this semi new brand uh, known as Total by Verizon. It's essentially the old track phone brand, which had a, I guess, a sub brand known as Total Wireless. And Verizon is going to go ahead and take that kind of sort of rebrand, reposition, and just kind of push it forward as their go-to market strategy for prepaid. Uh, after they acquired track phone, it seems to me like the intention for Verizon is to go ahead and consolidate some of the branding and just put together one good foot forward uh, to compete with the likes of the rest of the urban unlimited uh, providers, right? So these are the Metro by T-Mobiles of the world, the Cricket Wireless, which is AT&T's pre-brand, uh, prepaid brand. And I just, I want to kind of look at some of these elements that they propose, you know, Verizon claims that they're going to do. All right. So what Verizon says they're doing is they're going to come in and disrupt the prepaid industry. Some of the quotes from the article, uh, some of the most compelling plan perks and benefits. 5G ultra wideband coverage, generous hotspot allocations, unlimited talk, text, and data, and offers for Disney Plus. I'm not sure if that's necessarily going to resonate with the traditional track phone customer, whom in all likelihood was looking for the most cost effective way to be connected. Maybe it wasn't really about unlimited data. Maybe they're not interested in generous hotspot allocations. Maybe they're not interested in an unlimited data plan, right? They'd be perfectly fine with lesser uh, than unlimited and lesser perks, but more wanting kind of like the bottom line to be lower in terms of cost for the rate plan. And Verizon has completely moved in the other direction. They've eliminated the, you know, these lower gig plans and, and they've added these more expensive more inclusive plans that are like 50 and $60 for unlimited. And they've tried to create kind of like a premium total by Verizon plan with a $60 plan. The traditional track phone customer probably really not interested in paying that much for service. They're looking for something more entry level. They're looking for something on a bottom line cost that's going to be a lot lower. So after 25 years of track phone serving a certain type of customer looking for a certain type of service, they're kind of moving in a different direction. Now, when I, I look at what they're going to compete against now, right, they're, they're no longer competing with themselves. It used to be like, you know, track phone, you'd go into a track phone serving store uh, and, and you'd choose between track phone brands, net 10 and straight talk and all these things. And you just picked like whichever one offered the deal that tailored your needs. Now it's like, well, we're going to compete with Metro and Cricket, which are T-Mobile and AT&T brands. And again, these are more like your urban unlimited plans, but people have their doubts and I can't blame them. Right. Uh, it says here in, within the article, uh, the brand total wireless is designed to take on prepaid competitors like Metro and AT&T and at all. And also total by Verizon would bring more value to the table, roll out exclusive stores to enhance the customer consumer experience. So leaving all the value aside for a second, one thing that Verizon can do to maybe try to one-up Metro and Cricket is try to offer a much more available footprint and then try to offer customer better customer service. Uh, if they were to have a good presence within Walmart, Target, Dollar General, and other retail stores and online, that's one thing. But it looks to me like they want to do dedicated stores. And that allows you to control customer care, control systems, uh, have a standard of excellence. And obviously Verizon has its work cut out for it. According to Jeff Moore, principal of Wave 7 Research, it's not going to be easy to do. Uh, this, this is probably, I guess, what Verizon can do, right? Because they can mainstream the customer experience. Uh, and those store rollouts are important. The prepaid customer does appreciate the physical store, the brick and mortar store kind of sort of turning it into, I guess, kind of like a postpaid experience. Uh, but this is a far cry from what they've done with Visible, which is a completely online, in-app, 
customer chat support kind of deal. Uh, this is going to be like in the store kind of deal. Uh, I don't know. Uh, they they did their like first store launch in New Jersey. Uh, I'm, I've never heard of Passaic, if, if that's how they pronounce it. Uh, but I will tell you guys, this is a far cry from what TrackPhone used to be. I have no idea if this is going to work for Verizon. I don't know if TrackPhone customers want 5G ultra wideband or if they know what it is or care for it, you know. Uh, but they have essentially positioned Total by Verizon to be different than what it used to be. The, the, the only factors that I think are most important is does this resonate with the consumer? Do we start to see cricket customers, Metro customers leaving to go to total by Verizon. And I just don't know if that happens because Metro does offer a pretty nice high value plan that includes like their unlimited, I guess it would be like their premium plan, right? Unlimited data. Uh, and they also have like Amazon prime and they have like Google one storage. That's pretty nice for perks. Cricket's got like the best pricing when it comes to multi-line I don't know if Total is really addressing any of that. This feels to me like Verizon's trying to put a square into a circle hole, right? Or vice versa. You know, it doesn't really fit. Um, they're going to be reaching for new types of customers. I don't think they're really interested in the legacy Total customer or the legacy uh, track phone customer. It just doesn't feel that way. Who knows? Who knows if this is going to be affected? I don't know. But I'll tell you what. You're definitely going to get better pricing at Visible. You're definitely going to get better pricing at some other companies. And uh, there's more ways to save money. That is for sure. But if you're looking for more the traditional Verizon prepaid, you know, th th this is what they're doing. I just don't know if it's going to work. Comment down below. What do you guys think? Verizon's new approach, Verizon's new take. You think it's going to be effective? Uh, I don't know. I just don't know, man. I have my doubts. That's that's just kind of my take on it. Comment down below. You all the voice of the people, the SMT Nation. Let your voice be heard. Like, share, and subscribe for more. Turn on the bell notification icon to never miss an upload. Links in the description for my Twitter, my Gmail address for all business inquiries, and my Patreon page is down there as well. Thanks for watching. See you on the next one. Peace.